Well, today in the garage, we're going to do something different. We're going to learn about how to use the 2018 Chevy Volt battery charger, the traction battery charger over there. This over here. And we have, we're going to use some light bulbs as a, a load. We have a, a 12 volt battery. The 12 volts is to supply power to the battery charger. We have a uh, amp meter on the 400, 400 volt side of the battery charger. And we have a, a volt meter on the DC side of the battery charger. It's connected to 120 volt power. We have a Arduino Uno here with some very simple code, which I uh, found on the internet. Okay, so what what needs to happen is that battery charger only works on pulse width modulation at 100 hertz. Actually, 105 hertz according to this um, code here. I tried 100 hertz and it didn't work. So Amber, if you're watching this, I don't know. I don't know what's, what's the difference here, but for me, it only worked at 105. The 12 volts, and actually there's only four wires that need to be used on this thing. Let me get you closer. So on the control side uh, plug, there's six wires. And only four of them will be used. So we're, we're going to call this pin two because pin one, there's nothing in there. So pin two is ground, pin three, which is this purple white thing, is um, high voltage sense, which it's not connected to anything. Pin four, this is the pulse width modulation control. So by changing the duty cycle on this, it changes the output of the battery charger. Uh, here we go. And, and this way, this that's the part number there. And this is from a 2016 to 2020 Chevy Chevy Volt, I think. The the previous ones, Gen ones, they they work off of uh, CAN bus, and I'm not familiar with CAN bus. I'm barely familiar with this. <laughs> So this red wire, which is pin 9, is 12 volts constant power, goes to the battery. Uh, pin 10 is um, AC power sense. Again, we're not using that. And this one here, pin 11, is... You enable the battery enable signal. You supply 12 volts here and then it will turn on the battery charger. So we have constant 12, ground, we have the enable pin, and we have the control wire right here. Here's an Arduino Uno. Very, very simple. There's only one, two wires on there. There's a ground that's connected to the 12 volt ground, which is right here, this one here. And this ground is connected to the pin two on here. And pin nine is gonna be our um, PWM control. That goes onto there. And over here is the, is the very, very simple sketch. Now, one thing to remember, if you're using an Arduino, 
that these pins have a set frequency and they're, they range from 400 to I don't know from 400 Hertz to 10,000 Hertz I, I don't know but what I do know it's not a hundred Hertz and that's what this needs to work so this one of these pins have to be set to a hundred Hertz and over here after much research on, on the internet, you have to use a library called PW, PWMH. Uh, if I find the library, I'll link it in the description of the video. And here is you set the frequency, and the frequency I'm using is 105 hertz. And below here is the... Let me put that here. You know, down here is actually the the code. So this init timer safe is something to do with the built-in timers of the Uno. So I need to use that so it doesn't affect the other built-in timers. Don't ask me, but you need to use that. <laughs> and this bull success. Um, so if you use that command and you set pin frequency to nine, so pin is the number nine pin, and the frequency is whatever frequency you put up right there. In this case, we're using 105. Once you upload it, and if everything's okay, the LED, the pin 13 on the board, on the Uno board, will light up. So. If it lights up, we're, that part of it is good. And down here, I set the pin mode. I'm not sure if this is necessary or not, but the pin mode of the pin 9 is an, is an output. So in the void loop, where the code constantly is being checked, all we're, all we're doing is PWM write to pin 9, now, 29 is the duty cycle. So, it's 29 out of 255. <laughs> but this took me forever to learn all this stuff. So, actually, it's 29 out of 255, which equals about 11%. So, we're going to send that code over to the UNO, and it's going to set the PWM pretty much to 11% duty cycle. Hopefully that makes sense. So I've already done that, but I'll do it again. All we do here is first we verify that everything's good. And if there's no brown lettering down here, you're good. And I'm gonna upload it. Here, I'll do it again because it's a small program. Upload it again. You can see those flashing lights. We're, we're good. And down, down below, there's no errors. Okay, so we have 12 volts on the, on pin nine. We have 12 volts on the pin 11, which is the, uh, the enable signal. We have the ground connected, and we have this ground connected. So everything's livened up, livened up. So we have about, these balls are 60 watts each. So we have a 200, roughly 240 watts of load here. And we have a voltmeter here on on the DC side. So both of these are on, on the DC side of things. Okay, so all we're going to do is now put the 11% duty cycle that's sitting on this wire onto the number four wire, the, uh, the control wire. And voila. So right now we are at 
1.8 of an amp. Let me put it this way. There you go. Sorry, I'm going to flip. 1.1 amps at 370 volts. I'm going to change the duty cycle on here to uh, say 50% and see what changes. So all I'm going to do here is change that number to half of 255, which is roughly 2, 2, 20, 2, what is that, 2, right, so that's roughly half, so that's roughly percent, 50 percent duty cycle, so I'm going to hit go up here, hit upload, Lights came on. What do we got? So over here we have 437 volts. And still, it's just roughly 1.3 amps. 1.1 1. 1. 1 amps. All right. So I guess let's go to maximum. I don't think anything's going to change now. For whatever reason, let's go to 255. That's the max. Hit upload. Oops. Well, I guess it doesn't like 255. like that let's go to 220 okay well I guess I have to play with it with it with it a bit see it's 437 volts 1.1 amps so that's it guys I mean uh, this is a very very simple charger um you can i got this one for i i'm thinking well i bought it with the battery also the chevy volt battery i think they only charged me 100 bucks for this thing but uh i actually have two of these and i'm hoping that i can put these two in parallel maybe uh i guess i could it's already in the car <laughs> i'm gonna have to take it out of the car but I think that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to hook these up in parallel and see what happens. There is another option to control this charger. This is a, um, a frequency and a duty cycle controller. The, this is bought on AliExpress for... I don't know, five bucks, uh, something very cheap. Now with this, there is, you can just, just turn it on or off the charger. There's no, you can't integrate this with a control system, but if you don't need that, this, this is a very good option. So the red indicates um, frequency and the blue indicates duty cycle. So right now it's at 100 hertz at zero duty cycle. So let me just, let me just hit the set button. Again, and then over here there's a up and down. Let me just go up to 32 set. So right now it's putting out 100 hertz. Oh shit. Uh, let me just raise the frequency up a bit. Okay. Should go on. Oh, yes. I forgot.
to connect my enable button here. Let me do that. Bring this down again. I don't, I don't want it coming on while I'm screwing around. So that's zero. And I'm just going to put this at 100 hertz just for fun. All right. Now I'm going to unplug the. Stay there. I'm just going to unplug the 120. I'm going to hook up my. Uh, where is it? This pin 11. I'm going to put it on my 12 volts, which is. Where is it? So pin 9 and pin 11 are connected together. Okay. So now I'm going to plug in the 120 volt. And now let's see what happens here. We'll start off with the duty cycle. I'm going to bring up to 30%. That should get... There we go. Oh, so at thirty percent, at with this meter at a hundred hertz, the lights are coming on and off, They're going up and down, up and down. Let me put a voltmeter on this. Let's go. To it. Let's go to 30, shuts off. Hmm. That's weird. It lowers the, at 30% duty cycle, it's running between 170 and 193 volts. What about the, uh, what if I change the frequency? Okay, no, that's nothing changed there. Let's go up to 32. It's ranging from 297 to 305. That's as good as crank her up. 50%. Okay, so that's 50% duty cycle on there. That's 437 volts. Looks like looks like 437 volts is the maximum this thing will put out. What if I change the hertz? Okay, there's no change there. You can't really see that, but all right. Well, there you go. You can use this. I'll link this little controller in the description, also. But yeah, so that's it, guys. It's pretty simple. All you need is four wires, and uh, you're good to go. You can charge your. 360 volt battery pack or i guess you can charge up up to 437 i guess my pack is from a chevy volt so uh, it's around 400 volts that's it thank you thanks for watching bye